Yeah, so I'm going to get straight into it, man. Everybody saying these YSL members are snitching. Technically, they are, and technically, they're not. First of all, no one's been able to snitch because one thug hasn't went to trial. Basically, everybody knows this whole trial is about locking young thug behind bars. So Gunna took a plea deal to, one, get himself out of jail instantly. Uh, the co-founder got out instantly, and other members along with YSL has got out. The whole thing that makes them look bad is that by them accepting the plea deal, they're saying everything that the government is saying is true, so let us go. And <clears throat> with that being said, how can Young Thug go to trial if half his team has took a plea deal? They're not going to offer Young Thug a plea deal because they don't want him to have a plea deal. They want him to take it to trial. They want him to feel like he can beat it in the box, which we already know it's a slim chance that he's going to go. Plus, if you're listening to what these statements are saying, these YSL members who are taking deals may have to testify at the in trial if he does decide. So, yes, it's conflict. Yeah, you can say, man, my name not on nobody's paperwork. Yeah, I ain't say nothing. But you, if you a group and y'all didn't agree together to all go into a plea deal, then it's just as well as saying, we all did it, and they just going to leave Young Thug to just take the charge by himself pretty much. And I can speak from this from experience because I had the same issue when I was fighting my case. But we all took our end up getting a deal, and we that's good.